there's always room for girls in ocean conservations and or diving. My name is Hindar Dania, but people often call me Dania. And I just turned 20 last July, and I'm from here, the Air Island. Here is a really small community. Growing up on this island, I often heard that the ocean was off limits for girls like me. For years, uh, I let those beliefs shape my world. A few years ago, my grandfather passed away from blueblastoma or cancer. There's not a good facility here at the island, so you can imagine how a person who has blueblastoma needs to face the suffering every day. I said it before that, like my life before, especially after my grandfather passed away, it's sort of like floating, and I don't have something to grab on. But then coral catch happened and I met this amazing girl. They are very supportive, very kind, full of love and affections. It's kind of gave me something that was something that I can keep for myself. So the reason why I wanted to make an impact is because I tried to break the stereotype of girls' oceans, conservations, or, or diving industry. The idea is in my mind is maybe I can work at a dive shop. So that will make me be able to go to the ocean every day, be able to dive every day. I need to do everything to actually put me in the positions to learn. It's supposed to be something free, right? And I ask, is there a place that can actually put me in the best position to learn about this? And they suggest me about Coral Catch. Without waiting for too long, I sent the Coral Catch email and they told me that the application is currently open. I don't even believe in myself because a lot of people keep assuring me that it's too impossible to happen. And then in one day, I finished the application that submitted it and I got in. I tried my best to explain that when Coral Cats actually exist and the community itself started to see what we're doing, they are forced to understand and they are forced to accept that this is part of the community itself, the woman in the ocean science. Or the woman in diving industry. I think that's the thing about Indonesian people. We don't really talk about our emotions. And Koi Cats, through the women's circle, we were able to let out something that we hold dear in our heart. And it's really hard to let it out. So that's why I said that Coral Cats is really a complete package because it's not just about field learning, scientific diving, but it's also about the communities, sporting communities, you know, being able to be yourself on the community and being able to be yourself and people still cheer you, being able to let people see the worst of you, the best of you. You can just be you in this community. And it's really powerful, I think, this Coral Catch sisterhood. After the dive, I usually saw a lot of girls hang out in, in the beach and like with curious eyes, they uh, like they, they wanted to know what we're currently doing and our work is. So my friend Ninius has actually started to make a group to talk about this stuff. They started to ask me like, how do I apply? Can we apply after graduate from elementary school? So again, sparked the curiosity. 
this particular movement is really important because as I said before, it's also safeguards the livelihoods of the community itself because um, the communities depend on the snorkeling. How do they have an income if they don't have a visitor? So I think uh, Call Cats is not only helping to, you know, to build the reef or to safeguard a reef, but also it lays upon foundations to safeguard the livelihoods of the community itself. Thanks to Body Aware Project. Um, without them, I'm not sure you you can see this little ship happening all around the island. Before this, this past few years, I don't really feel a sense of belonging. Like I don't really feel a sense of community. But then Caracas happened. It's been an amazing journey. You know what they say about woman? Woman is for emotions, really. And being in Caracas is like full of love and affection. And you can, I, I can get the love that I. <laughs> Sorry, I, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot get the. I never feels as love as I'm in Caracas. There's something about genuinely supporting each other. I feel like there's nothing that I can do with Karakaj community It's in me. So that's that's how evapo Karakaj. It's not just a place to pursue my dream. It's home. <laughs>